I'm lost on the filter part. Where does the biological filter go? After the pump and before the bed? Is it on the return water or the airline? The school of aquaponics. So Scott, your question is stemming from episode 22 where I talked about the uh, biological surface area. You really wanna know you know, where is this biological filter uh, supposed to be at? Because on the diagram, when I made that video, it just showed part of the diagram and didn't really give a, a full description, I guess, of the entire setup. So these are that was uh, from a more advanced uh, setup. But so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you an advanced setup so you'll get um, the information on how we set the aquaponics systems up at the highest level. When you're doing aquaponics at the highest level, you're going to want to set it up um, you know, in this, in this type of fashion, I'm gonna give you the blueprint real quick. Um, so we can move forward. So the first part of the, the setup is the sump tank It's what is known as a sump tank or our reservoir. Um, and this is basically the part of the system where, um, all the water is going to be distributed and all the water is going to, uh, come back and return. Um, it's going to be like a central location in the system for, uh, for, for that occasion. Also, this is the place where you're going to put your pump at. Your pump is going to be inside of the sump tank. And from here, the pump is going to distribute the water up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split our flow. In regular basic systems, it's a kind of like a circular motion um, where it just goes in one direction. But in advanced systems, you're going to split the flow and we're going to have one flow going to um, the, the vegetable, the, the vegetable or the growing area. And then we're going to have one uh, part of the system going to the fish tank area. So they split up. And what we can do is put ball valves on um, each end of the um, of the split. And we are able to have maximum control over um, the distribution of water when we want to cut it on, cut it off, how much flow we want to go to it. So now moving on to the, our focus here is on the fish tank part because this is where our filtration is going to come. So once the water um, exits from the fish tank, once it exits from the fish tank, then it's going to go through a mechanical filtration. Mechanical filtration is going to always come after the fish tank outlet. It's always going to come there. And what it's going to do is filter out the larger solids, the larger solids um, in, in, inside of the system because we need to get rid of those and we don't want to recirculate those throughout the system. And then from there, it's good. The outlet of the mechanical filter is going to come into the biological filter where all your uh, nitrifying bacteria uh, will colonize and develop. And this is where your nitrification process is going to take place. The uh, uh, toxic ammonia is going to get converted to nitrite, then then converted into nitrate. Um, and then from there, it'll from the biological filter, it's going to return back into the sump. And this is going to complete. This is going to complete the setup. It'll return back into the sump, and then it'll just do the same thing over again. And one thing that I missed: the sump tank is going to be the lowest, the lowest portion in your system. It's going to be the lowest portion. Optimally, you would want to have it underground, uh, under the ground level, but sometimes that's not the case, but it needs to be the lowest point inside of your system. And people, sometimes people have to use two pumps. If you're in, in like a warehouse or something like that, you may have to set up a two pump system and a, with a, with a, with a float switch on it and all type of other stuff, but that's when you get more complicated. So to, to lessen the complication, we just keep it at the lowest part. If we can dig underground, we'll put the sump tank there, uh, wherever we can put it, but it's the lowest point in the system and it needs to be that way in order for it to do its job. Now there's, this is the, this is the blueprint for the advanced systems. Now there's different variations that you can make out of this blueprint. It doesn't have to be just the vegetables on the right side and the fish on the left side. Like you can do all type of variations and mix it up. But as long as you split the flow, you have to split the flow and have your filtration coming out of um, uh, out out of the outlet um, from the fish tank. Then everything else is pretty much you know you can pretty much customize it how you want. But this is the advanced setup at the highest level in aquaponics. <laughs>